How you the same old, same old? You you have to elevate to settle the score. That's not true. If you if you if you have a vendetta or a grudge, then you just hold it. So you said so you said so you set so you set this record straight, so you can do them back. Yeah, so you have to grow so or but to settle the score, you got to do some development of certain skills. Have to elevate so, to settle the score. No, that ain't personal growth. How is it not? You have to. You. I'm gonna go to the gym and learn a box how to beat somebody up. That ain't personal growth. That, that's you. You still on the same square. You just couldn't fight before. Now you can fight. You saying well, just saying you know. But is that not growth? To, to not be able to fight and then learn to fight? Is that not growth? For a specific reason to go beat somebody ass? No. Though your specific reason it may be to beat somebody ass, did you not acquire a life skill in the process? Okay. So just because your intention may be a little shallow, it doesn't negate the growth that you had to experience. So you have to grow to settle the score. Or you just end up in warfare. So then you got you you you, 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 don't, you don't grow because you won the war. You still yeah, the yes, you do. You still, you're on the same principles. You just won the war. That's all. No, see you, you that you it's it's some things you gotta do to win the war. You don't just win the war. You gotta grow and elevate who win the war. You in the same paradigm. You the same. You got you just got better at being the same asshole or whatever the fuck you was on. Can you get better at being the same asshole? Because if you get better, you gotta elevate. So you spiraling up. So no, <laughs> you have to no, grow. Man. What do you mean? No. Look, just look. I don't settling the vendetta or the grudge. You know what I'm saying? It's growth. No. Yes, cause you cannot settle it. You cannot settle it. And then what? Well, you did grow. You had to learn new so skills. Like say, oh, I grew, grew like, and and, and and that's the growth talking about not I went to the gym learned the box and then I went to beat that bitch ass and now yeah that's growth that's not growth that's fucking you just learn to beat somebody ass it took discipline to learn how to beat that ass take discipline learn to beat somebody ass exactly so who are you to determine which way a person experienced growth it's not growth look I settled the motherfucking vendetta therefore I grew because there was a point when I would not settle the vendetta and now I have got my justice, and I, I don't have no grudges. Not settle your vendetta. Mm-hmm. You should be like, oh, you will be fine. You don't have to. That's not a vendetta. What? That ain't a vendetta. No, inside I had a vendetta. Deep down inside I wanted to take care of this shit. But then it was a part of me that was like, he better than that. No, we, no, we, we stopped listening to that motherfucker. And picked up that motherfucker and said, just settle the score and be done with it. You are absolutely right. <laughs> Finish them. And now I'm okay. So I don't have any vendettas, you know, and that's growth. Growth. It is growth. Why you want to take away my growth? It is growth. What's the part that's growth then? That's growth. How you get to tell him, go ahead. Mm-hmm. No, the part, what's part is growth? The part that's growth is like, I'm saying, developing the, whatever, that's the growth, not the fact that you don't have a genetic anymore. 
No, that is the that is the consequence of not having the vendetta anymore. The, that is the consequence of developing yeah, the skills. I'm kind of worried, like, I know that I have these vendettas. Uh, no, no. That, that ain't it. Right? I try to word it that way. Why not? It's, not it's eloquent. And it, 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 it's, it's, it illustrates my point in an eloquent way. It is real. I don't have any vendettas no more because I grew. Not because you grew. Yeah, I did grow by settling the motherfucking school. That's why you ain't got vendettas anymore. Why come I don't have vendettas no more? Settle the score. By disciplining myself to settle the score. Had to learn things. Growth. <laughs> so, I mean, y'all was listening. I mean, we you know. Who y'all? What y'all think? Put y'all, put y'all, put y'all, put y'all, put y'all chime in. Chime in. Chime in. Chime in. What y'all think? Stay back and love me. Watch for you. Love me. Real growth, what? What? I say real growth. What did you say? I said real. Real wisdom is understanding that there is no growth. It just is, bro. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, so there is no growth. So what is it? Just All it is already exists. So it's just existence. So why do we perceive things such as growth? Why do we perceive it that way? So it is the human perception that sees growth, but growth is actually not really there. It's just existence. I mean, it's sort of like saying with magic, the energy is neutral. It's what the hell you choose to do with it. So, So maybe there is growth inside of some people's existence. Is there growth inside of your existence? Is that air that you're breathing? It is air that I'm breathing. Oh, I, I, I ain't get deep out in the matrix like that. Movie too damn long. Too much shit going on. What's the point? There is no who? There is no growth? So there is no only experience. So you can experience growth. You can't experience everything because you can't be omnipresent. And we had the omnipresent conversation. You cannot experience everything per your argument when we had the omnipresent conversation. You said it's not abnormal to uh, that we can't experience everything. Yeah, because we're only human. No, you said we can experience everything. And you said we was human. So which one is it? You don't experience everything with a human perspective. And now there is an exclusion of what you just said. Yeah, now you put a limitation on what you just said. But then at first you didn't have no limits. So now you got a limitation? You just that, made a. That, that, that limitation is always there no matter what because I'm always human. That's how you get Are you always human? I'm not always human. I can't. I'm not always human. When I'm sleep, I'm not human. I don't sometimes I'm sleep, I don't even know I exist. So explain what you experience Sometimes I experience absolutely nothing. Complete darkness, quiet, silence, nothing. No just some knowing of consciousness. That's it. Darkness. Could be. I don't know. 
I don't know every human. What, I don't what, hear. What do you know? I know. Specifically. I know what I know. What do you know? I know that I'm not always human. How do you know that? Because. How do you, how do you quantify that? Test that? I quantify and test it by not being able, by being able to see more than what the human experience a lot. How do you, where do you know, how do you know what the human experience stops? I said a lot. And when I say what the human experience a lot, it is what society finds acceptable. But society ain't the human experience. Society is the construct of the human the experience. Whole, the whole of the human experience. It's the construct of the human experience. A, a certain construct. There's several different types of societies. <clears throat> Yes. So, most societies don't. Throw that shit away. No, because most societies don't accept some of the things that I have experienced. Most societies, but not all societies. Uh-huh. Nothing. It's all societies are all human. Nothing is absolute, and all societies are not human. We got bones of. Human species, humanoids that were not human. Noids, which is a different type of human or species or whatever the hell you want to call it. What? No. All of them are not human. They have different scientific names. It still behaves like a human. It's still a societal construct, and most societal constructs determine what the hell a human experience is supposed to be and look like. And if we're going to judge by mundane consciousness, at least that's what I choose to look at because that seems to be the greater aspect of human existence versus other things that I experience that are not common in human existence. And I don't believe that I am human all the time because like I said I believe you are spirits having a human experience and you fundamentally disagree with that we just have two different perceptions of what existence is you exist as a mere human I do not because I believe like it's a lower uh, existence. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a lower existence. It is a different existence from that which uh would be a spirit higher or lower. They all have an existence. They just exist in different level stages and planes of consciousness. So, not necessarily higher or lower, but I mean, humans are very limited, but humans think they are superior to everything. Very interesting paradox humans are. <laughs> we finished we done have we exhausted the topic <laughs> this was fun hey leave your thoughts in the comments what did y'all think y'all want to hear him talk more <laughs> put that in the comments and then I can show him and maybe he'll talk to y'all more if more people say they want you to talk more, you talk more. I talk when I feel like talking. <laughs> talk when you feel like talking. So do I gotta like catch it? I gotta catch it. Be like click click. Oh, you talking? If you wanna record me talking, I guess you do gotta catch it. 
Pascal. Y'all see how he do? Y'all see how he do? Gotta play catch his ass. Alright. Y'all stay dark and lovely. Let me see y'all next video. This.